Now, hang on. Hello, welcome. I seem to have muted everything when I press something there. All right. I think now we're up on, on line. I don't know. I think I clicked off everything and it uh, it went. So I was chatting and you probably couldn't hear me. All right. Let's bring the flight control in here. Don't have anybody else to wait for, I don't believe. The Thursday night stream. I'm taking the Stearman. The Stearman's a brand new uh, plane from DC Designs. I should tell you what, this music's actually pretty loud. The plane's not very loud, so I'll have a quick look on the outside. I'm taking the Canadian livery. Well, it does say US Army PT-17 Air Corps serial number. I don't know why it says US Army. Chuck, wish I could join you, buddy. Mate, have you got this plane yet? Came out yesterday or the day before, I think. It's not too much. Uh, 20 Australian dollars, so whatever that is in... Uh, Pound, just a few. All right, park break in. Thank you. Yep. We don't have flaps, do we? No, just trim. Let's see if we can get the tail up. Zach's gaming. Hello, mate. G'day, Zach. I'm gonna come for a fly. I'm flying over near Niagara Park, so I'm gonna go and check Niagara Park. That's over where I used to live. Niagara Falls. All right, you can see my. Uh, Pedals there are uh, waving away. I think we're on live weather here too. Should we have enough to pull up here surely? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I know what I've done. Let's start that again, I think, because somebody didn't change back to modern flight model, did they? No, they're on legacy. So the moment I got in the air, it's all over the shop. Wow, there you go. Chunk, uh, it's about 50p. Not yet is any good. Um, this is my first flight, and as you can tell, I was stupid enough to um, still have that on uh, legacy mode. All right, well, there's one thing. Can't fly it on legacy mode. You know, it's kind of like what uh, happens with other aircraft that we're, we're having trouble with the legacy ones, uh, propeller planes. Maybe they work on um, uh, modern now. All right, we'll let this taxi out since you guys didn't see this before. It seems to be working now. Yep, okay, cool. It is a good looking plane. This is one of the official liveries, Canadian Air Force. Uh, I figured since I'm going to fly in Canada, uh, why not? I'm gonna make myself uh, my make my way down to Toronto, so I'll show you guys the flight path while uh, before we take off again. All right, sorry, E lad, if you're uh, watching my stream, I am actually streaming now. I won't be able to chat with you. All right, let's try this again in a modern mode okay we'll get that going again xx uh, says wait till you get it in the air and then roll it <laughs> you're supposed to fix it uh, also they're supposed to fix the prop from running backwards other than that it's epic oh is the running backwards thing supposed to be like um like when frames go so fast in a camera that uh, it looks like something's spinning backwards is that the effect they've got, or is it actually spinning backwards? Alright, so I don't know why I, I still had it on legacy mode. We've got to tell. This is a bit smoother. Oh, speak too soon. A lot more twitchy than my Carinado I flew last night. Alright, what have we got? 80... 80 what? 80 knots? Come on, that should be enough for one of these to take off. There we go. Smooth. All right. I was going to show you where my flight plan was. 
see if we can move this over pop it underneath my camera there but before we do that let's do some climbing actually this is this is much smoother uh, let's do some climbing and see if we can see where Niagara Falls is because I'll go and visit that first all right Zach what's v1 speed <laughs> no idea I don't read any instructions or anything um, I don't know but I, I got to about 80 knots and actually uh, went quite well it's actually spinning backwards also they developed the model to simulate the ailerons on uh, both wings Oh yeah, as in both top and bottom, rather than just on the bottom. Because it would only be on the bottom on this. Alright, where are we? So, before I go doing too many aerobatics, I can see it over there now. they got all the casinos on the US side. Bank angle. What is... A V1 speed bank angle, you're saying? Oh, you're too technical for me now. You know what? I'm so going to get the, uh, the uh, VR work on this. Yep, they have to fix that model. It's uh, an aerobatic machine. I reckon it is. You know, let's just try that again. All right, so let's not do anything other than a left roll. Wow, that goes so quick as well. So, oh wow, can't quite, uh, can't do snap rolls too well. Or maybe I need to re oil my uh, flight stick, give it a bit of a grease, but um, yeah, it's actually not too bad. So, oh, I'm a little bit over. And there's that engine cut out. Well, I mean, it's not keep snap rolling that. Didn't quite get enough speed in that, but yeah, it turns really well. Bank angle is when the plane is at a dangerous angle, I think. Uh, I'd say the most dangerous angle on this one is like this. Because it's not going to last very long, as you can see. <laughs> follow this main road in, I'd say it takes us over towards the bridge, over to the casinos, try not to get done by some wires here. Uh, so the 940s had had uh, ailerons on the bottom wing, after the war they made them with ailerons on both uh, for air shows. Right, well, as you can see this one doesn't actually have or at least the Canadian one doesn't. I don't think that's a, um, a reason why, but uh, maybe, I, I'd say there's only one model. I didn't actually check. It does look good. All right, I think, I think it's over here. I don't remember if there's casinos on the Canadian side as well. Uh, am I in US airspace? Oh, that's a US airspace right there. That blue line you can see. That I just crossed. I believe. Oh no, hang on. CV. CFVX1 is still. Oh no, okay, the water line, that's right. This side of the water is Canada, that side of the water is the US. So we don't have to. Worry. You're live again, Max? Yes, mate, I am. Wait, I am in the US side, aren't I? I don't know. There's the bridge. That's what I thought I was going for. Let's see if you can still fly under it. It's an awesome plane. Uh, I've loved flying it the last uh, uh, last could of days, a couple of days. Uh, just watch out to a spin and flip like crazy. Yeah, um, I've got a few other biplanes, mostly FSX stuff. Of course, they're not all flying on modern. Uh, but they do, they do do a decent handle. Obviously the Coronado though, uh, YM, uh, what was it, YFM5, 
Uh, oh, you can hear that hit something. What is that, by the way? Is that like a bridge that never got finished? Or fell down? Alright, Niagara Falls. I'm sure all these on this side were uh, US. Yeah, I think they are. What a shame it's not animated. Now on photogrammetry, Bing data, you name it, no animation. But the detail that's down here looks pretty cool. All right, we'll take uh, Lake Ontario. We'll go back up. Uh, wait, we want to go. Yeah, this direction. Oh, no, hang on, you can't turn while you're there. Uh, if that is a freeway one from Riku, it's not, but no, this is the payway one that just came out from DC Designs. So, 100% uh, pressable, buttons touchable, all the rest. Uh, of course, I have nearly everything mapped on my uh, controls. So we can go right into... That's good, I can actually see how much banking I'm doing. What am I doing? 100 knots. Very nice. What's that for you? Just a stick. Right. Mixture, rich. Uh, my mixture is actually probably on auto. I think. So it's showing a rich. I don't know, I do have it a fair way up. Uh, let's have a look with the mouse down there. Did I change my mixture? Yeah, I did. Okay, no, I had about 50%. Give or take. Hey, saw that one chunk before before I heard the noise. Oh, DC Designs. Yes, yes. Very good. <coughs> so what I'm going to do, and anyone's welcome to come and join me, I'm going to follow it out towards Hamilton. So basically, I am going to fly around uh, Lake Ontario and up to Mountain View, but via, uh, it's Toronto, isn't it? Yeah, so basically just, not necessarily landing at all these, but I just want to give the, the plane a fly. It has a secret autopilot mode, they uh, couldn't take it out. If you have a button mapped to autopilot, it will turn on, alright. Autopilot, thank you. Yeah, okay, it did too. Uh, well, with that, if I were in outside view and I want to follow my path line, I want 278 uh, when I finally get there. So if I take that around to 278, I should be able to autopilot this and get all the 3D, well, not 3D, but outside views from a distance. Wow, okay. And they couldn't get rid of that. Seriously? Like, did they not design it from scratch or were they using something other code? Doesn't know that they abort a steampunk to flight. Yeah, two days ago, Max. Two days, apparently. Uh, if you don't do full throttle at all the time, it may uh, keep up with the chipmunk. Um, yeah, yeah, I've been flying the chipmunk. Come and join me with the chipmunk if you want. So what am I doing? I'm doing 85 knots. Uh, I am climbing. Let's see if we've got altitude hold. Oh, we got altitude hold. So we got full autopilot. Alright. Let's see if we can hold 2500. Um, that's both good and interesting. What happened to my music? It went all quiet. Next. Uh, you can disable autopilot on planes. Yes, I know. I've been going into the ones that you've been modifying and, and putting them back on. Because I like autopilot. Um, they just didn't tell anyone about it and it's uh, not in the instructions. Oh, look, I, I press autopilot all the time. I actually like it. Mainly for streaming purposes, though. So, um, when you do this and you know you've got an outside view you want something where it's flying stable 
Um, although I'm using an Xbox controller, see if I can get that on. I'm using an Xbox controller and I can press C on the keyboard which gives me control while I'm uh, in the, the Xbox, sorry, the um, showcase view. Oh, there's a little bit of lag. What city are we coming over here? I do have photogrammetry on, but apparently my internet's supposed to be pretty good, so we'll give it a try. I think I'm going to need to fuel up by the time we get into Toronto, though. Uh, maybe before that, I kind of, um, I only took off with 50% fuel. All good. What I might do, let's take the uh, VFR off the map here for now. Brett, uh, that's a good point, to be honest, uh, to do some screenshots. Yeah, look, you don't have to fly with autopilot. It's up to you. There we go. On fires here. What is he in? Oh, whatever he's got, I don't have the livery for or the aircraft. But welcome, Chuck. That's why I'm trying to be a uh, trolley, just uh, trying to help out with stuff that uh, learn through Steam streams and also flying it. No mate, I, I'm totally fine. I'm sure Max is uh, he's okay with it as well. He's not a huge autopilot uh, fan but um, like I said it's great for streaming and or taking beautiful shots. But you can't you can't fly straight. Well technically you can you know plane like this um, because I did it in my uh, Waco, the the um, YFM5, I think that's what it's called. Um, so if I go like that and then turn with auto, oh there we go. Now I can actually just steer it with a couple of clicks on the oh, two seven eight. Oops, there we go. A couple of clicks on the uh, flight stick and we are golden. How's that, eh? Uh, join me in a few minutes. All right. Cool. Didn't say that. All right. Also, it works uh, well on VATSIM. Uh, there's a funny saying, a Stearman 9240 at Bravo waiting for takeoff. And the VATSIM controller was confused. <laughs> he didn't know it was out yet. Yeah. Well, as you know, I have the AP on some planes and disabled for uh, jets and planes. Okay, yep. I've started enabling it on some that uh, you've modified just so I can get them back so I can do this stuff. Chuck, hello mate, in the new crop duster, check my Discord stream. Um, I haven't got that crop duster and I'm not sure whether I will, I mean I kind of got one like it, but um, uh, where are you streaming, on your, you are too. Uh, I won't do this for long because I choose up bandwidth, but we'll have a quick look. He's in a green one. Very cool. Alright, but I won't stay in there because uh, it kind of takes a, a lot of my bandwidth. Alright. Oh, it must be after midnight. I've got a new video out. I have two. Alright. <coughs> Uh, Max uh, says, I just want to say that if I couldn't uh, couldn't disable it, they just have no clue or just did something wrong. It won't be that they've disabled it, um, that the function is there, although it is just a zero and a one. Uh, has a working spray bar. Yeah, I saw that in um, I saw that in the uh, the promo for it. Uh, who was it that was releasing it? Was it on? Uh, was it on Orbix? Or did I see it on somebody else's video? Oh, we're getting a few frame rate issues here. Where are we? Hey! Some wings. The heat is killing me here in Germany. 
Wow. Um, yeah, it's 23.2 in my room, only because I've got the heater on 20 at the moment. <laughs> that being said, though, I, I am in shorts, but I have my hoodie on. Um, but I normally, like in the last stream, because the room is now heated up, but in the last stream, I had a blanket over my uh, feet. But uh, I don't think the temperature outside is all that bad. It was about 17 today. Uh, very windy, though. We got windstorms. Um, tell you what, though, this is not very fast. There's a view for you. How do I go through the different views? Let's have a look. Let's see what they've come with. Hello, camera. Thank you. Let's get that out of the way because we want to be able to see it. Alright, free showcase fixed. There we go. Internal one. Yep, that's the one I was. Two. It's alright. Uh, you know what? What I'll do is I'll take this off of the screen. Actually, I'll put it over here so I can see you guys chatting as well. Uh, Chuck, flightsim.to. Oh, is it? Is it the freeware one? Or were they the ones who were um, advertising it? It's in the Sim Market store. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. What are you talking about? German? Oh, chunk. Okay. I'm not even going to read it. You guys can talk German. All right, what have we got? External three. Actually, that's the only three. Oh, no, it's got more. There we go. Just, oh, I need to make that bigger. Four. Uh, I don't think I like that one. Can no? If it was a little bit lower and you could see the bottom of the plane, I think that would be all right. Sometimes I wish I was born in Alaska. Um, yeah, look, I'm I'm in Tasmania, so uh, most of the temperature is probably between 15 and 25, maybe 22, uh, where I am. All right, let's go through these views. Okay, they've done all right with these views. That's pretty cool. Where's my fuel? 38%. Okay, I've got to keep an eye on that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, you don't see me. I'm heading towards uh, CPF6. So if I put this back on uh, screen for you. I see Ornfi. He's right behind me. Chuck Payware, okay. Is flightsim.to selling it or were they just announcing it? Because I got an email, it might have actually been a flightsim.to email. Um, Max, there you are, okay, cool, he's found me. This is some interesting views. Crew weight, 400 pounds. Okay, uh, that's the two of you, all right, cool. Service uh, this airplane with 73 octane fuel. Well, that's pretty low, isn't it? only if uh, not available the next higher grade will be used in an emergency right so higher octane doesn't necessarily mean uh, better performance for them okay let's go back to there and then we press this and we go out is it yeah we do um, crop dusters model is insane it flies like a rocket uh, they're supposed to fix that as well. Right, okay. <coughs> um, let's see if we can make it to Toronto before landing. So what am I heading? Let's get back in here. 278, next one will be 350. Okay. So I'm making a few airports just to fly over. I wanted to kind of make my way around Lake Ontario. Um, how much was the crop duster? I don't know, I lost you again, damn service. Alright, where are you? How much was the crop duster? Uh, either in US... Uh, Max, I'm on your low left. Uh, you're almost over the top of me now. That's probably why you can't find me. Now, I have that crop duster one in... Okay, it's the chipmunk. I have the crop duster one in a um, FSX converter file for firefighting. 5A, when will you land? Uh, Toronto, so 
we're going to pass over this um, tiny airport here, uh, CPF6, make our way up past uh, CZBA, and I'm going to land in here at Toronto. Unless we're running really low on fuel, then I'll land here. I wasn't necessarily planning on landing on, at all of them. For information, uh, you do buy this, read the PDF because <laughs> they do go over flying VORE, oh, okay, other non-GPS flying, uh, US-20, alright, so this was um, US-1499 or uh, current exchange rate Australian, $20.20, .20. that's what it cost me. I uh, did have points that I could have used with uh, DC designs because I got the F-15 as well but I decided to save those points and whatever points I get for this one and see what else they come out because I'm, I, I really do want the Concorde um, but I'm worried it's going to cost too much uh, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, 18 euros. His was an instant $15 purchase. His. Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it says 5A. Alright, so this is the uh, airport where I'm going to change directions. What did we say? 330, was it? And then what I can do is I am going to use autopilot because he's awesome. But I won't obviously for landing or anything like that. But uh, how cool is this? Now, what other views have we got again? We've got inside, stick, I don't know what we're supposed to be, the database, I guess. Mixture, what's my, f there's no fuel from one side to the other, is there? No, parking brake, it's actually fairly, how do I get back up? Oh, have I frozen, no, okay. Oh, I thought I'd frozen there for a second. Uh, night li nav lights, that's already on, already on, they should be, uh, basically put it on when I did auto start. Captain Matty says, hey Bryce, morning Brett, g'day Bryce, do you want to come and join me if you're not doing anything? You're welcome to. I am in the steerman, but I've got, uh, two others with me at the moment. I'm just an impromptu stream. Actually, my second one for the night. Got a Max in a chipmunk. I think he's also got the Canadian livery by the looks of it. And Ornfire, or Chuck, as he's also known as, um, in the new. Yep, you're in RA, RCAF. Um, he's in the new Crop Duster, which I don't have. Is it Saturday already? No, no, this is a Thursday night. It's, technically, it's actually Friday morning. Um, this is a, hey, Brett's internet's pretty good, and Brett's wife's been away shopping um, in the afternoon, and then she's going off for the weekend to go somewhere else, and it's like, well, I can stream. Bryce says, I'm laying in bed, working the morning. Oh, mate, no, no, work's more important. But um, I tell you what, though, um, what you're doing on the weekend? Where's your flight from and to? Are you going to continue on from Havana? Just got to get a cushion behind my back. Oh. Get a bit comfortable. There we go. Um, because if you are, I, I may actually be um, considering coming doing a joint stream with flight with you with a bunch of people, and we'll. Uh, We'll do a leg of your flight if that's what you're doing. If you're just doing some muck around stuff, that's cool. Chipmunk looks cool. Should have a video out on that very soon. Is an FSX conversion. I'm considering following this highway here. Yeah, I might do that. And then we'll uh, we'll fly over that uh, that bridge up there. I don't mind this autopilot. Thank you. Uh, <coughs> work is not more important. It is if you need money. If you don't need money, 
No, no, no. No, work's not important. I know. I'm not working. This is my job. Well, it's not actually my job. This is my hobby. For tax purposes. Because <laughs> apparently, uh, if you do it for a living, you got to pay tax. If you're doing it for a hobby, up to a certain um, uh, level... <laughs> look at you upside down. Up to a certain level, it... Um, and non-taxable income according to the Australian tax office although US is already going to start taxing me from this month onwards anyway I mean uh, my next flight is Havana to Grand Cayman uh, but for a group flight stream uh, I'll fly bloody anywhere mate no mate I'm, I'm, I'm happy to come and join you and see if a bunch of people that I uh, fly with are also interested how far is the Grand Cayman like, is it a three-hour flight? Because that's pretty long. Um, although, I did a Concorde flight the other night. It was nearly four hours. Um, overestimated how long it would take to get from uh, Paris to Beirut. And then from Beirut... Uh, wow, look at that down there. Oh, that's a wave pool. Um, from Beirut to uh, Dubai and then Jeddah and then Cairo all in one flight and I'm like yeah 6,000 kilometers all in one go seems a, a, a little uh, over adventurous you joined Ray all right mate yeah Dre is one of the ones that flies with me. He also streams. Dre the gamer. Oh, I've lost everybody. Oh no, there they are. Probably just wondering where is he going? I think it's like 220 nautical miles. And we're going probably about, what was it, about 150, 160 uh, knots. I think you were travelling out the other night. Now, if we come in uh, FSX converted aircraft, well, wow, look at how jagged the shoreline in, is here. That's just wrong. Come on. Did the US get an update but not Canada? Dang. Um, yeah, if we come in uh, modified planes, we'll come in like what uh, Ornfire is in, uh, just the, the generic plane. But hey, still our company. And I'm happy to talk with you as well. Uh, we can have an active conversation. For a single engine GA, uh, it'll be two hours more. Like, two hours is fine. El Michael, it is easy for the US viewers to change servers so you don't uh, have the tax. Um, I get tax, well, okay, yeah, technically, yeah. Uh, but I can't tell every US viewer that I have to uh, watch all my videos that come out daily on a uh, a different um, a different server. Uh, what I need is someone like Nord VPN uh, to sponsor me, and then I can encourage it. But um, every donation I get uh, from the US customers, uh, the US wants tax money out of that. Even though I am an Australian citizen. Um, they want money, is what it is. I'm going to turn that camera thing off. I still have that on. Um, I guess, it, though, if you've got such a huge military budget, you've got to pay for it somehow. And if you can't tax your own people enough, I guess you've got to tax people from other countries. Um, you know, they're worried that people are watching ads uh, from people from overseas and the money's going out of YouTube to overseas. Technically, I get paid from uh, Google Singapore, not Google US, but Google is ultimately owned by a US company. Dre the Gamer says, I am a US viewer and I watch all your videos. Very cool. Yep, um, and I get taxed on your views of watching ads. But it's not a lot. Nice to be tomorrow, Ivo, on Discord. Uh, it'll be my first multi-platform stream across YouTube, Twitch. Uh, Twitch A, is that and something or other? 
Um, are you going to use Restream? <coughs> I've used it a few times. Um, I do have Twitch. I'm not streaming to Twitch right now. Do you know I'm half considering following that highway? Oh, you know what? There is another highway up there. Maybe this one. Look at that nice long straight road. I didn't realise Canada was so flat. What happened, Canada? I thought you had a heap of mountains. Or was it only over the other side? I've been to Canada. US taxes are way too high and the US are in the US and we get less benefits than other nations. Um, you have the highest military budget. You, you have a higher military budget than all other nations combined. I believe. It's something like that. Or the next six biggest combined. Or something like that. Um, other nations like Australia spend more money on health in percentage wise. TK says hi. Hi Mergs 19. Welcome to Come Fly. We are going to actually land at Toronto and I need to keep an eye on the fuel. 30% no problem. Get back in and have a look around. Uh, I'm, I may consider following this road here. So what's my next path? Uh, so we've passed Stony Creek. We've passed now Burlington Air Park. Is that where we are now? Yeah, and we're going to head 71. Okay, 071. Uh, when I'm when I'm not wrong, the chipmunk using the same engine from the Tiger Moth. Uh, it is. It's actually um, based on a Tiger Moth originally and replaced the Tiger Moth, so there's a lot of inspiration. I actually uh, researched it for my video when I made the Tiger Moth, and it's out in a few days. Um, so the whole front engine area was actually modelled very similar to the Tiger Moth, uh, only a lot more powerful, which is pretty cool. Now this turns really quick on the uh, autopilot. Where are you guys? Oh, we're nice and close. Oh, I've lost Chuck. Where'd Chuck go? Is he down on the road? Did he land? Do you know one thing I would like um, Microsoft Flight Sim to do is I want to be able to see other players on the VFR like this. I want to see it like you can with AI traffic. Uh, oh, do you know I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little bit further to the uh, flight line. That way I can actually get a better a better run in. I wouldn't mind actually being able to see it. Um, Bryce says I hit the wrong button with uh, using Streamlabs uh, for YouTube and Stream Elements OBS uh, live for Twitch. It meant uh, I meant to say Facebook gaming, but meh. Not sure I'd get any interest over there. I don't use the Facebook. Um, Restream allows you to do it, I think, two different places before you have to pay. Uh, and I was kind of considering holding off uh, on Twitch for now. Uh, uh, you know, what we'll, what we'll do here is we'll just fly straight with the road. Click on the uh, off the uh, VFR. So I'll fly straight with this road here, which is like uh, 046 probably. <coughs> Are you using autopilot? Oh my god. Am I using autopilot? What are you talking about? I don't use autopilot. Yes, I'm using autopilot. Um, it's a hidden feature. Do uh, you going to buy the EMB 200? Which one's the EMB? Hey, David Jacko. Other players on a VR map. And, oh, yes. And the ATC recognise them. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Like, if I put on uh, Volanta, which I don't have on right at the moment because of the amount of data I was worried about chewing up, although my internet seems to be fine tonight, um, I can see other players. I can see where they are the whole time. Why can't they display that here? And in VR... Or, or name tags in VR. Okay, but the ability to turn them off. 
And when I say like turning them off, it's not that hard because let's see if we get. Uh, all right, so there we go. We got Max's uh, name tag. I press backspace. Okay, it's not going to work. It's going to call me a liar. Why? Oh yeah, because I'm I'm in outside view. Backspace. Okay, it's not going to work in there. Maybe I have to be like this. Where is he? Now backspace. Oh, is my UI mod not working? Oh man. Okay, I broke it. Alright, normally I can just press backspace and off goes the... Uh, <laughs> off goes the uh, name tag. It's not working. Wow, okay. Broken. Uh, Alright, you want to... Hang on, the EMB200 working pretty well for an FSX aircraft. What's FSX? This one's not FSX. No, this is uh, this is Payware. This came out two days ago. Um, so this is the DC Designs Stearman uh, Dre. I mean, it can land on a crowded airport no matter how many players are on them. Yep. No, this is the new one that just came out. Fifteen dollars. Yeah, yeah. Fourteen ninety nine US or twenty Australian dollars. Dollar dues and twenty cents to be exact was last night's exchange rate. Um, Eighteen euro or whatever it is. It's quite nice. And yes, it does have the ability to use autopilot. And I'm only doing that so that I can do this kind of. Oh, there we go. That's, that's still working. Yep. So I can do this type of thing. I've got two Canadian uh, Air Force planes here. Oh, excuse me. Uh, only reason I'm considering streaming across both platforms is because I've built a little bit of interest uh, from other streamers' chats over there. Um, got followers, but no content for them to watch. Yeah, it doesn't keep them. So my plan is to go back to restream, and I set it up yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Uh, but with a different um, OBS Streamlabs overlay. Uh, fly the EMB200 is the crop duster. Right, sorry. That's the MB200. Um, I don't know. Um, Chuck was flying it before. What happened to Chuck? He's not streaming anymore either, so maybe he had to go. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. I Maybe. I mean, technically I've been buying a whole bunch of other stuff anyway, so probably. Uh, this restream you think speaker sounds brilliant yeah yeah so restream uh, basically lets you stream it to multiple platforms um, from the one uh, output so I have upload issues on my internet I'm limited at the moment I've limited the actual uh, two things I've limited flight sim to only download at 5 megabit per second while flying which is absolutely fine when you're doing this speed but when you start flying jets uh, it can't keep up and I get stuttering although like everybody no matter what computer you get as soon as we get towards uh, say Toronto Airport up here or Toronto CBD wow there's a mountain for you look at that I said it was very flat here but that's that's a little ridiculous um, you get the starters but so I've limited it uh, to me crop dusting means something very dis different uh, well, it basically is spraying crops, so it actually does have smoke that comes out the back, apparently. But so does the uh, the Waco, but I couldn't get to see it working, or at least it, maybe it's going to. Or Waco. Coronado one. Alright, looks like we're going to pop ourselves over the water here. So look, yeah, maybe I'll buy it. Um, Twenty dollars is a good price. I can't justify buying some other aircraft that are sixty US dollars. Look, I bought the uh, CRJ uh, seven hundred slash five hundred because someone donated money and said, "Hey, go buy it." I did, and it won't work. It, it just will not work in my. Uh, hangar. I think what I'm going to have to do is remove all my mods and then see if it works because something is conflicting. I've, I've uninstalled it and reinstalled it and it's still mucking up. And I've downloaded the updates and stuff. 
So 70 uh, US dollars, or no, 70 Australian dollars, I think is what it was, uh, is a lot of money for a plane in a sim that I already spent 200 odd dollars just buying the sim. So, yeah, don't know. So these are things, um, new planes are coming out all the time. I guess I've got to work out which ones do I really want. <laughs> CS777. Um, yeah, I wonder if that's going to go on sale or Captain Sim's going to go, ah, look, I've updated it. It's now worth more money, so we're going to raise the price. Um, but I don't think so. I think that I think that's actually built for Xbox Arcade, not every button pressed uh, realism. A uh, bit like the Bredock uh, 737 Max 8. Yeah, a lot of pay payware is not uh, is just not worth it. That's right. You don't want to speak out um, about that again. <laughs> People buying it anyway. Um, look, they can, and it depends on what it is you want. I like this because I want to be able to use this in VR eventually. I do want to be able to sit in this. Uh, I have to get inside first. Where is it? Get in here and use this for VR, but I'm just not in my streams until I get VR chat enabled so I can just look down, read the chat, and look around. And I know it's possible because I watch other people do it. Uh, Captain Simon updates, yeah. Let's not go down that rabbit hole. Um, well, look, the, the, the rabbit hole is uh, updates. Um, if you're a modder, like my, I am, like I mod stuff, I bring stuff in from FSX. There's the other plane, very cool. Um, and every time a Sobo updates, uh, we basically have to take all our mods out, put them back in, find out why the game is now crashing or what's going on. How cool is that? I would like, uh, yeah, I'd like to be able to use my VR in here and just be able to look around. I've done uh, one VR streaming flight and I had somebody else read out stuff for me. Bryce says, if they raise the price above the already insane 36 Australian dollars, they may as well give up. Uh, PMDG 777 will be like $150 very likely, but worth every single dollar. The PMDG 777 should be... Clicked on. There we go. Should be uh, study level. All right. I'm going to bring this in autopilot off. Thank you. Um, should be. I, I'm not going to say it's going to be. Should be. Um, yeah. Max has been pulling his hair out with updates. Uh, and as a streamer and somebody who makes lots of videos and has now, I've started taking probably took about 20 planes out of my folder um, recently and I've got 371 left um, so I've got a lot but uh, every time there's an update I have to take everything out 350 or 400 gig I think I've got now oh wow look at the frame rate loss now told you once I get close to the city five megabit per second uh, limit on a download even when we're doing a hundred knots 22% fuel now I am going to land here I'm not asking for permission I don't want ATC working just keep them quiet see if we can roll up and do a, uh, a fuel up what's this place on the left is it like a satellite thing underneath that dome? The radar or something? Or is it some sort of park or what the what is that? Artwork? Oh, it looks like a radar dome. Maybe, maybe not. It's a bit like a yacht club there. Oh, look at all the melted buildings. Photogrammetry. Man. And you wonder why I fly out in and out of Sydney all the time. Oh, this is coming in way too fast. I hope this is a long runway. Maybe we can 
think of the large the large lines here for landing thank you can we we're hovering holy smell yep we've got a bounce we're going to bounce two bounces two bounces i'll take that whoop 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 thought i might just get out to view all right tail down please Oh, not bad considering I forgot to um, look for a wind so I can check which way the, the uh, wind was blowing. Alright, so. Oh, I'm going to stall it, aren't I? Alright, we're going to see a whole bunch of uh, aircraft like this one in front of me that has text texture issues, so I'm still working on it. But uh, other aircraft will pop in and. Well. It hasn't yet, so I'm not going to tell you about it. But you'll see it once you once you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. I do have some stuff coming up that uh, secret at the moment, but a bit of a laugh. Hey, Skipper says driver of the bus. Uh, I think you may get a fright when you find out the price of oh the DC six. Yeah, um, I'm not so sure I'll go for it. Driver of the bus. It, I mean, it better be really good and worth me getting it for somebody who who has more than access to more than 400 aircraft. The DC-6 better be good, and I probably also have access to a free DC-6 if I wanted one. Uh, is there a fuel station here somewhere? There we go. Cool. Follow the road. Try not to get run over by the white vehicle. Um... It will be Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 has over 1,000 input channels and flight dynamics available. I uh, best believe, believe PMDG uh, will use as much as they possibly can. Yeah, yeah, well, look, fine. If you're going to make a um, uh, study level to try and attract people away from... Uh, FSX or uh, X Plane 11, where they've already invested potentially a couple of hundred bucks in order to practice uh, study level aircraft there um, because they're real pilots. Most of the people who are going to buy that uh, are usually real pilots or they are retired pilots. Actually, my father keeps asking me to get in contact with one that uh, lives nearby that uh, he knows who's made himself a, a full cockpit. Um, I think he's an X-Plane 11 flyer as well. Probably should. Maybe could get in contact with him, go over there and check out what he's got and make a video on it. Um, I was suspected going to be 70 odd dollars. Uh, you'd think it would be a bit more than that. All right, hang on. I'm gonna go this way because I can see the sock now. I landed with a tail wind. So that probably was not the way to come in. Uh, 40 frames per second here, not so bad. Yeah, um, are you in 4K, Max, Bing Data Photogrammetry? Actually, the biggest problem I have when I do some stuttering like that is, uh, is internet speed. Wow, there's a rise there. It goes up. Alright, I still gotta get that software that, uh, so you can't hear me clicking all the time. All right. Sorry, Max. I'm uh, I'm going for it. But it's not as if you can't catch me. All right. Tails up. Oh. Okay. Watching my speed. Should be able to go up at 60 knots. Or thereabouts, uh, by the looks of it, because uh, I guess that's what that line there is. Optimal, um, may only can take off. Uh, laugh out 4K with a 70, a 1070, not really. Okay, um, yeah, I'm still running my uh, 1080 Ti, but uh, it is actually 11 gig uh, video card, and to be honest, it's actually doing pretty good considering I am on 4K. I have had to turn down some items from uh, Ultra. I initially started on Ultra, but the more I've added and the more updates that um, Microsoft do, the less I can do. 
What's your internet speed uh, your way? Absolutely pathetic. Now, I'm supposed to be on a 20, 50 line, so 50 download, 20 upload. Uh, tonight, I was getting 24 and 4.5, four and so 24 down. It, oh, actually, that was earlier. Uh, it's probably a closer to about, uh, I think it was 30 something, just under 40, and uh, 5 or 6. But I am in country Tasmania. Hey, there's Chuck. Oh, fire. He's changed planes. Alright, where's my flight plan taking me now? So, uh, 062. Okay, thank you. We shall cheat again and autopilot. And will autopilot take me... If I click that once, will it go me, take me back up to 2500? No, it'll auto hold her there. What is that noise? Is that the sound we get when another plane comes nearby? I think it is. Chap, did you go and buy the plane? And jump into it. I think you did too. Good on you, mate. Uh, so, wait, hang on. Considering the PC, P3D and X plane only have a couple of hundred uh, input channels, flight to with you. I uh, hope that PMG is similar study level uh, companies come to the party. Yeah, look, I think so. Um, your settings are much to do, much too high for the 1080. Um, yes and no, I've continued to lower them. Uh, I was able to do awesome, but when we add stuff, I think half my issue is the internet is not downloading things quick enough. Someone did a flyby nose on. Flyby nose on. Duck. Oi, oi. Sam, we got a Sam down on the ground there. You're welcome to come and join us. We are now making our way to uh, where do we leave? Toronto Centre. We're now making our way to Charlie Yankee Oscar Oscar, which is Oshawa. Oshawa. I feel forced to buy that plane too. Max, you don't have to. Um, it's not bad. What am I flying at? 1100? Uh, I don't think I could necessarily do a barrel roll here, but uh, yeah, why not? We could probably do a couple just to make sure we're up. Oh, yep, we pointed down. It goes a little too fast. Uh, I know someone right at the beginning there was at X6. You were telling me uh, it seems to barrel roll pretty quickly, so do a snap turn. I might need to modify my... Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll get up in the air a little more. I might actually crank the mixture to do a climb. Alright, what's my speed? 80 knots. Snap. Snap. No. Oh, I can't quite snap it. Oh, you listen to that slow down though. I'll join again. All right, mate, go for it. It's actually not too bad. Uh, what server are you on? We are on West USA. Actually, I need to do that type of stuff. I've watched others um, put in their server ID uh, just by putting in exclamation server. I haven't got that yet, but I think I will do that. All right, what's my altitude? Thank you. About a thousand feet. I might actually take it up. couple thousand um, hard to loop uh, if you look lower right in the cockpit you will see the transponder and then you can also set your two radio channels oh I've got those turned off I really don't want yeah there we go I don't want them talking um, I'm not turned off I just I've not <laughs> not actually set anything because I don't want them actually uh, Crew select. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I have to change the num. Okay, yep, no. Nah. Alright, let's not do that. We don't want them talking. I'm over them talking. Does that. Is that a mirror? And does it work? No, but in the Coronado, I have two mirrors on each side of these struts. And 
and I do know that they do work. Whoop. I'm guessing I have one fuel tank as well. So what are we? We are... Are we still 80% fuel? Oh, there's no dial there. Any other way you can find is if you go out here. 76. That was pretty close. Bryce says, I'm going to head out. Got to be a semi-functional for it tomorrow. As much as I need uh, the money. I want the money. Yep. I don't need the money. I don't want the money. Cheers for the awesome prompt stream. Mate, thank you for joining and contact me tomorrow and let me know where's your flight plan to and from. And maybe what I'll do is I probably actually will look at coming and flying with you. We can pick whatever aircraft we are capable of jumping into. Maybe not these, a bit, a bit slow. All right, I'm gonna climb back up to uh, 2,500 there, Chuck. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the steerman can do loops uh, for sure. Yeah, I visit an air show uh, near my city and uh, here, and every day they had one flying around. Yeah. Isn't it the one that, where they filmed the person uh, standing on the... Oh, how did I get to 7 one? Standing on the um, the roof? Oh, sorry, the roof. On the uh, top wing? And doing stunts back in the, in the day? Alright, points. Now, the point system there, drive the bus, I have decided you don't need to claim points to use any of the items and GIF files uh, with sounds and I'm going to add some more sound stuff but I may use points to do competitions and or giveaways I haven't worked out what to do okay Luke long time no see mate appreciate the chat too um, what I might do is I may give uh, giveaways I don't think I'll do anything like this because I don't know if you guys would want a uh, Brett plays a magnet uh, but I do have some of those and what I could potentially do is give them away, but I don't know about magnets good for fridge Put something on your uh, fridge and put a bill underneath it or uh, your kids drawing, but it's just a bit of fun All right, so I've slowed down here Have I finished climbing? I think so We're getting a headwind All right, we got Ella Ben Zimra in a whoops, it's gone. You know something simple. Every year. No, no, I thought it meant every day of the show. But yeah, okay. Uh, if you hit the crew button, the people turn into airmen. What people turn into airmen? The, the co-pilot, the, the cockpit. So this guy. Casual dude. Is he going to turn into an airman? That'd be cool. Alright, we'll give it a try. Oh my god. Thank you. That is awesome. Oh, with the moustache as well. How come I don't have a front person? I have to choose that. I probably had to choose that, do I? Co-pilot, there we go. So it actually would need... Well, I'll be. Look at that. 80 kilo. Do you know what? My wife would be horrified. 80 kilo? Fully dressed. Alright, maybe a 70 kilo person. Fully dressed with a helmet and some gear. Alright. Magnets, yeah sure, I'll put it on my monitor. <laughs> Not on your monitor, on your fridge. <coughs> I do have a merch store now. It is part of Streamlabs. Uh, I do have some coffee cups and some tumblers. I know that one person's already bought it and got it within about four or five days uh, that one's actually from New York I don't know whether they send locally or what the deal is Sam hashtag 4678 are you flying with us or do we just happen to upon you I'm liking that with the two pilots thank you 
I guess I probably should read the PDF. Tell you what, maybe I will read the PDF, and if there's anything else that I've missed, uh, I might make a video on it. Alright, I'm just going to modify my path there. Uh, back to 6-2, please. I'll take a 6-3 because we're actually on past. I think wasn't watching. All right, let's see if uh, Chuck's got his uh, two air crew working as well. All right, let's fix up this camera. Got to remember how to put that back to higher speed normally. He has no pilots. He can't see the pilots on other planes. Are you kidding? No. What happens if, if I get in? Uh, if I get into VR and I see another plane, is that flying remote? Right, you have to put him in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're quite welcome. Love the 1940s look and pew pew pew. Yes, absolutely. I mean, these go so much better than my Tiger Moth. Um, I do have a few other. You know, I, I kind of think I might already have an FSX steerman. Good on you, Chuck. He knows he's on camera. Actually, no. Yeah, I was. Oh, I love the sound too when it goes flyby. All right. Ghost plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a drone. Remote control. Watch out, the Air Force will be coming to use it as target practice. Alright, so where are we making our way? So, Lake Ontario on our right there. We're going to go to CY00, oh, sorry, OO, Oscar Oscar. And I can't press that there, so Oshawa. Oshawa. I hear you. Oh, there you are. Yeah, not a bad plane. I'm um, kind of enjoying this one. Um, that rotate is bad. Yeah, uh, X6. Uh, FTUNDX. I'll just call you X6. Um, he was saying that they're going to patch it. They're going to up update it. So um, that probably would be a good thing. That road doesn't quite go down there. I was going to say I might follow that road. You know what? Why not? So, ah, oh, are you kidding? Come on, DC Designs. I put a guy in the front. Where's his head? Give me the back of his head to look at. So I've got to do this to get over it. Well, mate, duck down. We follow one of these other roads, and you know what? No, let's just follow this road. I think Chuck just realised I've gone for the dive. Uh, I can update myself. Yeah, yeah, you can change the characteristics. Or anybody can change the characteristics of the plane if they know what they're doing. Alright, what have we got down here? I'm guessing this was a, a work in progress thing. Big uh, interchange. Not yet built. Excuse me why I rehage, right? Ah, uh, they are going to patch that, yeah. Oh, excuse me, that's probably a bit loud. Some decent sized uh, buildings there. All out in the middle of nowhere. Is that a motel or something? Almost look like barracks there. Go down the main street here. Must admit I've never been to this side of Canada. Only uh, Vancouver, uh, Calgary, Edmonton. So basically mostly west. 
Second person in the plane. Ah, uh, they're gonna patch. Oh, the second person. Yeah, sorry. All right, they're gonna patch that. Yeah, don't give me two on the outside. If most people are gonna fly on the inside. Uh, that's a new style of the devs. First, just sell it and then make it right. Um, yeah, especially if you see somebody else uh, releasing one. I think the um, Edgeley Optica people are probably absolutely kicking themselves that uh, a freeware one na got natively released, so freeware Edgeley Op Optica got released before they could release their payware version. But people will still buy it because they haven't yet seen the freeware version. And it works great, and it's been updated as well. And press of a button, you can put a dog in there, press of another button, you've got skis underneath. Um, I mean, yeah, get it out there, make some money, you know, hear a few complaints, uh, do some updates, people are happy, but they've still made their money. So they want to make it right before it goes on the Microsoft Flight Sim Store. Yeah, so they release it on their own uh, or through somewhere else, uh, like the BreadOx stuff uh, has. Um, yeah, get it out there and then put it on the store. I think the store probably has certain uh, issues where you've got to say you need to get X, Y, and Z fixed first. <coughs> Excuse me. Just thinking, I, I'm running out of water. I'm, I may end up just going for another uh, cold sugar drink, which I probably shouldn't, but anyway. Also, you can fly it uh, from the front seat as well. Right. Uh, yeah, I probably can now that I have um, two, because it says solo from the rear seat only. Now that I'm two. people we might just uh, sit around this altitude is that 1200 let's redo our barometric pressure 1300 probably uh, 094 thank you all right there's autopilot again um, all right so front seat uh, is it something you can press by going through now that I've got another person, no it's not. How do I change to the front seat? Or do I have to have done that? Uh, I don't want my comms on because I don't want them uh, talking to me. Control lock. You can actually lock the controls to fly. Oh, is that what happens when you press autopilot? So wait, what did that actually lock? Is that just stopping me from... No, I don't know what that's doing. Where does it lock it? It locks these things from being moved, I guess. Okay, interesting. Chuck, trims nicely, roll rate too fast. Yeah, yeah. We were saying right at the beginning of the stream, um, XX was saying uh, they will be updating this. <coughs> Excuse me. I am going to go for another cold drink. Uh, what's with my view? There we go. I think I have to start in the front seat in the ground. Yeah, I, I kind of guess that's probably what you got to do. Excuse me, it's not a beer, it's actually a Pepsi. That's all I got in the fridge now, not even water. I need to fill up the water bottles. Alright, where's... Um, wow, you can really turn your head all the way around. Oh my god! Exorcist! Alright. Ah, oh, this is where you need the little gun. This reminds me of uh, IL-2, sitting in the back seat and trying not to shoot your tail off. 
Although I don't think I would do it from that distance. Hard to tell just how close he is. Oh no, you can spray that. <laughs> oh, I should jump into IL-2 again. I haven't been in there for a while. Uh, pretty much since Microsoft Flight Sim came out. Um, but I do have it. I do like it. Uh, I'm not very good at it. But I would give it a go just for... Um, gits and chisels. Will you be doing a more early morning, mid-evening streams or was today one off? Uh, do you mean the same time as I did the other one, so your midday streams? What I'm considering is there will be streams at all sorts of weird times. Um, I'm, I'm seriously going to use my other mobile phone. I'm moving in to uh, my house for winter because I'm using the heater here at the moment and my electricity bill is going to be massive uh, if I keep trying to um, heat up this large room because my room is uh, 9 metres by 3 metres. It's got a few things in it. I already set the other one down before I even start. Okay. Um, so I've got a 9 metre room which is about 27 foot uh, 27 foot by 9 foot I think weird times is good for me right yeah um, but I'm also seriously considering some other games loving the Microsoft stuff uh, Flight Sim hang on where is it uh, trim uh, sorry um, direction is we're off the flight plan. How do we get off the flight plan? Alright. Oh, we're on 97. Alright, so what I need to do is that and then that. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm considering other games. Uh, I, I have Minecraft. I'm thinking about doing Minecraft Mondays. Uh, I'm thinking... When I get the internet going, hey, Stu's here. G'day, Stu. I'm thinking about doing um, maybe some Freestyle Fridays, or it could even be Forza Horizon 4 Fridays, uh, which could be just some drives. Um, Truck and Tuesday, once I get uh, set up with the new man cave, that probably will be when I do the trucking. Uh, or unless American Truck Sim and Euro Truck Sim. I may actually go and jump into that, even though I've only ever done the first uh, the first truck uh, test. That's all I did. Then I went to American Truck Sim and got up to 28 or what level 28, and a multi-truck business and trailer. But I'm considering uh, actually going um, the camera, putting the camera behind me, so you guys have got me in front. But I may actually get another camera. This is behind and looks at all three monitors that I have here. Once I get the race set up, set up um, for racing cars and um, American Truck Sim on uh, a desktop of three 50-inch 4K TVs, which is what I'm using, and uh, it becomes a resolution of 12,288 by 2160. RTX Minecraft was standard. Uh, I only have Java version. Uh, Minecraft and I don't have an RTX card so I won't get RTX but I do have mods on my Minecraft so I have um, I have like realism mods and, and I have had for years <clears throat> G'day Stu I saw you in the air before I uh, Saw you in chat. Where actually where are you now? You disappeared. I don't see you anywhere. Well, I might take this uh, VFR off just to let you know how far we got. We are actually making our way now to the final destination. So what are we? An hour and twenty? That's probably an alright stream. For an impromptu. And my first fly in the steerman to see how it goes. 
I'm I'm actually happy with it. Max is in. Ah, oh, it's an MC simple. So it is actually a simple. Right. Where did the other person go in the MC simple? Maybe they had trouble showing up on the screen. There's Stu, and he's he's booking it. Yeah, so I've got Java version. I got early Java, Java version of um, Minecraft. So when it basically before uh, Microsoft got anywhere near it, and the elevator. Oh my god. Um, yes, Max. It's it's sold to uh, make money first and then do mods as they need to. What is Stu in? Is he in a King Air or something? No twin, listen to that thing go. Oh, he's going for it. He'll be on the ground before we even get anywhere near that place. Love the steam and yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying it. And I'm, I'm seriously talking about, like I didn't mention before, getting the VR streaming working. I want to uh, set it up so I can get inside the cockpit and just look down to read the chat and then look around and, and totally enjoy it. The model is good, the flight model not. No, look, if, if they're going to improve it, they're going to improve it, so that works. There's Max is up. I oh, know, he's down now. So can I turn the name tags off? No, something's wrong with the name tags. Mod now. I don't think I removed it. The ability to hide them. Now, I might stop this uh, music and put on something that's a little more um, fitting with these type of aircraft. I hope I can sleep tonight. <laughs> That's awesome. Maybe we can get in a tighter formation. What I'll do slow down a little. Mixture. It was all the way up on that. Clean it out a bit as well, but also throttle it down. <laughs> Max has given it a good test. All right, so uh, back inside here. There, locking in my flight controls, I'm guessing I wouldn't be able to land. Right. Feels like uh, an RC model reacts too good. It, it does react fairly well. <coughs> um, Let's see what happens when they update it. There we go. Whoa, that's a little close. Have we got Max on the other side? Oh, yes, we do. Yes, that's the way. Oh, I got my funky music now. Poor Stu can't slow down enough. Alright, I got my camera on really fast. How about I bring that back and then I have slow camera. There we go. That's pretty cool. Alright, how are we doing for fuel? I haven't actually been noticing. 69%. 
That's an easy way, a cheats way of doing it. And he's upside down and down he goes. Oh, look at those shadows down there. Beautiful. Ah, we could almost walk from one wing to the other there, Chuck. Here we go invisible. Yeah, I kind of wish they'd uh, undo that. You yeah, actually have a choice to uh, not... Wow, this music will really get going. Have a choice not to uh, go invisible, but actually just to uh, be solid there. I saw that, Luke. I saw that. No jet noise is scaring me. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to have to get out of. Uh, Autopilot. Hang on, I'm gonna press this button first. <laughs> Just trying to get in closer there. I prefer to see the clipping. Yeah, I'd like to be able to see it actually go through rather than like be right there. Hey, we've got another one. Who we got? Elad Ben Zimra has finally shown up. So are you on my uh, stream or do you just happen to be in an MC Simple as well? And if so, which one are you? And welcome. You know what, we might follow this road down here for now. What's that movie where the, where the guy is running across the field and he has to duck at the last moment because the, the biplane's coming in behind him and it's been turned into a, uh, a meme these days. Can't remember the name of the movie now. Hey, Elad, he is with us, mate. Hello. We're going to follow the road at the moment. Uh, it's a slightly off the path, but uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll look for a road that goes a little bit to the uh, right and follow that, but I'm um, kind of enjoying this. There we go. Now I don't have to pull down on the stick as much. Jimmy Stewart. Is that the name of the guy? And what was the name of the movie? Can't remember what that one was. No Highway in the Sky. Is that the name of the movie? Huh. Oh, you just hit autopilot and the thing holds it there. I'm going to have a quick look at that. It's 1951, yeah, that looks like it. James Stewart. All oh, right. Also known as Jimmy, is he? Yeah. Sort of reminded me just as I was going down to that... Uh, Right, this looks dirt road down here. What happened to the... Oh no, there we go. Yeah, yeah, name of the movie. Yeah, just look it up. I'm over that song. Ah! 
chuck's down even lower. Alright. I wonder if any of these trees actually stop you. That would kind of suck. It definitely goes downhill. Well, it's an autopilot. It's supposed to do that. Yeah, but most autopilots return to... Um, the previous height altitude you had set. Uh, this one just locks in straight ahead at the height you're on. Uh, so this is kind of a, like a raw thing. It's north by northwest. Is that the name? What? Cost says, hello, Brett. Hello, Cost. Oh, we run out of road. Sharp right. Oh, man. I talk about sharp right. <laughs> the truck got out of the way. Right, we need to turn left here somewhere. Is this a left? Oh, that's a dead end. Alright, well, I'm just going to scoot over. Not following the highway down there. Had to research that film for my project. Alright. North by Northwest. Uh, now, what did I just look up then? No highway in the sky. Is a 1951 drama. AKA No Highway, British black and white aviation film uh, from a 20th century Fox. Oh, look, we should have been following this road. Here we go. Plenty big enough. I always think about uh, that guy in Independence Day. Oh, he ducks the crop duster north by northwest. Uh, no, no, the one that in a biplane that comes in and starts shooting at him. What's that one? Where it, it races down and starts going bang, 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 and he hits the ground. Is that north by northwest? Was the crop duster the one shooting? I don't know. <laughs> I love this. Hey, Stu's racing underneath us. Oh yeah, gotta remember to turn that autopilot off because it really does just lock it. So maybe that uh, James Stewart movie was also another one with aviation. Yeah, maybe there's a couple. Um, I don't know, I'd have to look up the... Uh, I'm sure there's one where he... He runs through like a uh, gated fence and into the field and has to hit the dirt because uh, the biplane behind him, I'm sure was shooting, unless that's been added for the mean. Maybe what I'll do is just get a little bit higher here. Hold that. Uh, let's go images. No, oh, it, it held, wow. Okay, it held me climbing. My autopilot actually you know, made me climb there. And what was the other one? North by Northwest. Yep, no, that's it. North by Northwest is the one. And it is a biplane, and it's on the cover. Yeah, runs past the fence and uh, ends up having to hit the dirt. Same guy though. Rebels him! Oh hi! G'day mate! What bloody film is that? I can picture the meme.
Yeah. Don't mind if I do. How low can you go? <laughs> Next step, Brett noses it over and crashes. For information, when you do VR, it says crew figures in the virtual cockpit are coded to disappear uh, when you occupy their seats. Uh, crew figures in the virtual cockpit are coded to disappear when you. Oh, okay, cool. So, but I don't have anybody in the front end at the moment anyway. Yeah, yeah, same guy, uh, different movie. What are we listening to? No, moving. Question, can you fly upside down without crashing? Yes, you can, but not for very long. Because you run out of fuel. You get running out of fuel. So, yes, you can, not for very long. Oh yeah, much quicker than the F-15, absolutely. We <laughs> got there in the end. Yeah, yeah, we did. Oops, that's not the view backwards. I keep forgetting that. Oh, they're lower than me. Probably enjoying it as well. I have to turn that heater off, I'm actually warming up. Yeah, yeah, so the rotation, is, it will be fixed. But, uh, I bought this yesterday during Oz Flight Simmers stream. Uh, he went for a fly in it. I didn't have it then. Just when he said it was like 18 bucks or something. Um, yeah, no aerobatic carb. Now, you know what? If they're going to update in the future and they do get one of these with the ailerons on the top, be nice to actually have it with a more powerful aerobatic engine that'd be cool definitely not long no uh, well I didn't have my mixture all you know what let's try it let's go mixture all the way flat out let's get up a little bit faster and higher and then nope Wow, yeah, not very long at all. Add some duster effects on this. Would these use as crop dusters? Probably. That's something they could do. I'm so annoyed because uh, on Sunday I have to go to school for six hours. Yes, freaking six freaking hours to do a play rehearsal. <laughs> Sorry, did I laugh that out loud? Um, that's the P-18 hopefully. Oh right, so that'll be a separate plane altogether. Yeah, if you're enjoying the channel, consider following uh, so you know when I go live. So hit subscribe. Tree. Traffic. F-15 sucks, sorry to say that. Uh, F-15 is limited to a Sobos SDK that they've released. DC Designs did admit though, he was unhappy with them giving them access to proper uh, high speed Mark 1 and 2. And it was hard enough for him to get them to allow him to go Mark 1 properly. <laughs> How dumb what is? Oh, the play. Mate, if you're into it, good on you. I don't think I ever went to school on a Sunday. Or a Saturday. Holy schmoly, that was pretty low. That road kind of came up. Bow, 
going out, meh, 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 meh. Don't uh, get why they just can't do it after school. Um, don't know. Don't know. Uh, my modern light model uh, F15 Brett. Yeah, I have. Fly my. Right, yeah, I haven't done that yet. Uh, smoke is a no bother to me. I just want to do dumb stunts. I think if you're in a a flight like this and one person had red smoke and another one had blue and another one had green um, and yellow or gold or whatever that that'd be pretty cool especially if you're all mucking around are all of you guys in the same livery the first one am I the only one that chose Canadian to fly here damn <laughs> that was pretty close. Hey lad. Oh, that's the same Elad that's been chatting to me. Mate, now I got you. Alright, cool. Yes, I did say I was streaming. I have to work on your other file later. Alright, so we're we're not too far away. We're probably about five, ten minutes from final destination. It's been a bit of fun. Flying between the trees like this is pretty cool. I had to be a Joseph in the Nativity play when I was at school, says Luke. Alright, mate. Um. Do you know, I, I did acting classes when I was young. Um. But I don't think I ever did it at school. I, I did it after school uh, at a actor's um, school, basically, uh, like for kids for acting. Um, I don't know why, and I didn't do it for too long, but I, I guess it helped me with some stuff. Don't remember any of it. I'd take those two lines in a heartbeat. Because <laughs> Joseph wasn't able to talk, is it? Where's the FP? What's the FP? I'm not sure how my current PC would do with it, but uh, chilling a little and doing some flying does sound fun. Um, depends on how old your system is. Uh, I know Max is in a... You know what? We're going the wrong way. Um, Max is in a seven, uh, 1070 GPU. You know, that's getting along for a bit. Cost, uh, then, uh, this is the plane that you want. Uh, you can put you can put around with it forever and never get bored. We should be over there somewhere. Maybe we'll go over CYTR on the way there. That was some pretty epic music. What have we got next? Something more funky. Anyone who flew in World War II started in this plane. Uh, okay, anyone maybe in the US started in this plane. Uh, they started in, I think, the Tiger Moth in the UK. Because that's the uh, UK training plane. Where's our airport? Slightly to the right. I might actually climb because I'm not so sure this... Why is that sticking up the top? Go away. Thank you, there we go. Alright, the road is coming in around to the right. Okay, cool. Uh, it's a lag between streamer and chat. It's always this way. Usually 5 to 10 seconds. Uh, I have 50 minutes. Oh, and check your stream that chat, Brett. Sorry, yeah, yeah, I was I was too busy flying down the street. Um, yeah, so uh, I am looking at it. So, do we think the DCD Conqueror would be good? I don't think it'd be cheap because it's still forty odd dollars or forty four dollars US for the FSX one. I looked at buying it yesterday and I was like, no, nah, 
No, I can't do that yet. Um, not when I'm waiting for my, the um, one to come out. Music a little loud. Yeah, all right, mate. We did uh, crank that up a little. Whoa. Where does this road go? Come on, all right, I'm, I'm climbing. All right, there's one airport I want to be over. Whoa, barely stable to stay there. Uh, and g'day, Sean, by the way. All right, so cost is, uh, I do like my agile places. Oh, I'm loading in whatever airport it is we're going over. Where's my final it's view mountain, isn't it? Yeah. Oh man, I'm hitting frames. I must be loading whatever's in here. Also, for those who who may have, I'll give the rest of your chat in a second. For those who have lots of FSX aircraft in their folders, do you find that now that after the latest update? where they've added all of your extra content to be installed um, that you get close to airports and it stutters just a little bit. Because I'm finding what's happening is going through your folder and loading in aircraft and I think because we've got so much FSX aircraft every time I get near a large airport that it has to load in something it's making the CVT folders for them. And it takes a moment to actually load them in. So when I fly over here, you will see all sorts of aircraft that are not default jet fighters from all the different countries that I've got uh, stored in my game. So there's a Draken down there. We've got a few more jet fighters there. Yeah, F-18. Um, so it basically loads in all this aircraft. Uh, that looks like a TU-145. That's the Badger, uh, I think. So it's loading in all these aircraft that I... Wow, this music got up going, didn't it? It's loading in all the, um, the files from aircraft that I didn't uh, have before. Hey lad, uh, I need to go by. All right, see you, mate. I'm actually landing in over here on our final airport anyway. All right, so um, exit uh, buzzing building. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, I forgot that there's other countries uh, than America. F yeah. Um, Air Force One landed at uh, Middenhall uh, either today or yesterday. Evening. Oh, sorry for your uh, commiserations. Uh, a CGA UAV video, and I like the video. Cool, thanks, 5A. Uh, I just need to get to my airport. Hang on, I've got to work out where it is. It's over here somewhere. Um, wait, was that someone below me? It is, Max. Okay, so... Oh, that music got going, didn't it? Uh... I always uh, say less is more. Concentrate. Yeah, so I've got the um, oh, what's it called now? Uh, the the add-on um, program that allows you to just click on them and it removes them out. So I'm going to actually remove most of the planes out of my folder, so I don't get that uh, uh, bad frame every time I get near an airport when it tries to load in some sort of uh, add-on. So I've got 371 aircraft still. Uh, I'm installing another 63 that I've had sitting in my download folder for the last couple of months. Um, and I've started taking them out as well. I'm gonna have to get just a little bit closer on my... Uh... All right, over near the water. Cool. Um, what music is it? I like it. This one or the last one? Uh, last one was Midnight by Dan Hennig. It's on uh, um, YouTube Audio Library as Freeware. Five nautical miles. Man, time to land. That's right. Five nautical miles and 54% fuel. Oh, we had plenty of fuel.
Is that it over there? That's it over there. That's why I can't see it. And it might actually be a grass field. We'll go and have a look at the sock this time. Actually work out which way the wind coming from and, and try and land there. And that's an interesting view. So I just hold the trigger and it automatically goes to the nearest player. Although I don't like how it uh, shakes about over there as well. Flightman100 says hello. Hello Flightman100. Mate, you're coming right near the end too. All right, Luke says, uh, no idea what's uh, done it, but I have missiles that replace commercial planes in the airport. Because your uh, Milviz F-15 loads in uh, missiles as individual aircraft slash files, because I think with the TAC pack, um, I think it's a Milviz one, they are meant to be able to be fireable in FSX, so they become in as a file. I'm guessing the airport's not this whole big green thing. This seems to be a farm. The airport's right behind it, but kind of looks like a, uh, a runway straight ahead. But it might be a left right, and that's the taxiway. So I'll bring it in here and see what it's like. Oh, look at that! Beautiful. It won't be long. There will be a whole bunch of liveries for this. And you'll have people with all sorts of different uh, colour schemes. Look at this one over here. What I'll do is I'll look for the sock. There's Stu. Stu changed planes. Okay. I don't know if that's meant to be a short runway or if it is a... Uh, Looks like it's been used as a runway. Okay, sock is uh, this way, so we want to come in and land into the wind this way. Thank you. I'm gonna do a 180. All right. Nice stream today. Thanks for the ASMR and a relaxing stream. You're welcome. Although with the music that we got at the end there wasn't all that relaxing. Kind of got going, didn't it? Oh, is there two? What is with the runways here? They're all over the place. And that sock moved. Actually, you know what? I'll do an outside view. Oh, yeah. Ooh, there. Oh. No bounce, but... I need a butter for that surely so what was that my second landing in this I think I got it right for the second time I did put my left wheel down first uh, probably because that's where the wind was pulling me from I was trying not to flip it over here very nice I'm, I'm liking this this, this is good I have to see uh, what Milvias I got because only F-15 is... Oh, uh, okay, so I, there's been a couple of... Thank you very much. Just put in exclamation redeem butter. So I didn't join uh, when it started, but uh, great stream. But mate, no, you're right. I did say I'll probably come back in a couple of hours and it's kind of an impromptu. And thank you X6 for um, giving me some heads up uh, with the extra pilots, uh, very much liking that. Uh, can't wait till they actually update it and put. Uh, so that's the air crew. All right. So if I um, if I press that again and undo the air crew, does that mean I get uh, my normal female lady in the front? Yeah, I do. All right. If we get more than one butter, all right. Thank you. Okay, so there's my normal air crew. Thank you. Oh, oh. Oh, 
<laughs> we would have touched. I wanted to turn right here and get over to the hangars. Oh, it looks like you can land almost anywhere here. Of course, uh, now go read the manual. Yeah, I'll go and read the manual and I have not done one... Let me turn this music down a little bit. I don't know how loud that's getting for you guys. I've not done one uh, payware review yet for Microsoft uh, 2020. I've done some payware FSX conversion um, flights, showcases, and or reviews. More showcase. But um, if you guys are interested in me doing some, I do have now quite a few uh, payware aircraft. And I would consider uh, doing a more comprehensive review on it. This is what happens. This is what's coming. This is what I think. I mean, technically, that's kind of this is like a shakedown flight. Um, good to get some knowledge from people who know what's going on. I guess I'll park over near that lady there. Get up in the high chair. No, that doesn't help much. Oh, yeah, we're a tail dragger. That's why. All right, you can see I've got a uh, Chinese knockoff MiG-21 there, the two-seater version. Uh, for some reason, I've lost all my textures on some of them. Oh, I can't see you, sorry. All right, I'm coming over, I'm coming over. Oh! <laughs> You don't want me going any further, lady. I don't know if I can stop. All right. And engines off. Thank you. All right. Hey, Stu. Oh, we got another. Oh, there we go. And a few others. Max is still doing aerobatics. Very cool. Um, yeah, so I may end up doing a few uh, reviews on these. So the manual, and I might do a... Uh, 10 to 15 minutes, hey, so this came out, I bought it, this is what it does, this is what you press. For all those who, are like me, normally, are too lazy to read the manual, and press crew select, and then get crewmen instead of your normal pilots. Oh, they're good, they didn't actually put a moustache on, the, so it's not the same guy. That's awesome. All right. Um, thank you very much for watching. So that's just a bit of fun. Uh, Marky P says, would be entertained to see a comparison of the F-15, Milvis, DC, Native, and a Maxes. Maybe uh, a MP dogfight. Um, I have considered doing a few of those videos. Um, Mark here, P. I've looked at uh, comparing freeware and payware. What you get for payware, what you can get for freeware. Uh, in Microsoft Flight Sim. So I've got a T45 that's freeware. I've also got the T45 that's payware. I've got an F15. Um, what else have I got? Uh, well, there is the Crop Duster one. Technically the one that I had terrible interior. I wouldn't actually compare that. Um, I Look, to be honest, let's have a quick look. And then we'll end the stream. So having a look at some of these... Epic Flight Mate, thanks. Brett says, Chuck, welcome. Thanks, mate. Thanks for coming and joining me. Um, at least one of them is, uh, I think I might end up having something like this or it's something very similar. So, what have we got? We got, uh, I think it's 371. 373, okay. I installed, I've installed more since doing that. But I do have other biplanes like this. Um, where is it? Down here somewhere. Right, so there's Stampy. Slightly different. Uh, look, I could say what you could get for free, and, and it's not really the same thing. Um, but you can get this for free. So I might, I might look at doing that. Um, you know, definitely... Uh, write a comment if you're interested in finding out okay payware um spitfire versus a freeware spitfire what do you get um is it worth it 
I mean, I've got a whole bunch of aircraft that are similar, but people are bringing them out. Um, also, where is it under? Is it O? Wow, I've got so many aircraft. That's why I take ages getting into an airport. Uh, I don't know where it is, but the old, old um, Edgley Optica. Oh, E for Edgley. Cheers. Skip says, driver of the bus. Thanks, mate, for watching. Uh, was fun, says Stu. Thank you. Where are we? Edgley. A, B, C, D, E. There it is. So, Edgley Optica. I put an FSX one out there. Somebody come along and converted one. And now it is native. Not only that, you can go up here and press uh, one of these buttons here or here and it puts a dog down there and the other ones put skis on it um, and all of this works and all of it is pressable this is free now there's a payware don't know that's just some of my thoughts maybe i'll do that type of stuff other than that thank you very much for those people who uh, have stayed around to the end of the video thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed it have a great night morning day whatever it might be I'm out of here. Catch you all later. Cheers.